Hello and welcome to the volume 2 of my freelance art guide series. My name as always, Ariwala Waju Ali. And in this very volume, I'm going to be teaching you the five important reasons why you need an online portfolio as a freelancer. You know, as we freelancers, there have been a lot of things um, that we need to actually put in place in order for things to actually make sense for us online and um, from experience I've come to realize the fact that when you are starting up as a freelancer having a portfolio is one of the most in fact if it is not the most important thing that you need as a freelancer apart from you learning the skill and become very very good in your skill like I said in um, volume 1 mastering your skill you also need to have a portfolio that will help to further strengthen your you know your 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 authority on the uh, within the industry as a leader in that particular industry so you need a portfolio which is what we are going to be discussing about today so what are the you know the five important reasons why you need your portfolio just sit back relax and then uh, you know move along with me so reason number one your portfolio helps you to showcase your work it has become you know the norm of a lot of clients to want to see you know samples of what you have actually done before in the past in fact even in the writing niche even in the writing industry people want to see a copy of your copy you know they want to see what you have actually written before how do you write how do you express yourself what pattern of writing do you have and all sort of stuff so that they'll be able to ascertain if you are actually the person that they need to help them do what they want to do or they are going to give their job to somebody else so it is very very important for you to have a portfolio because a portfolio helps you to showcase your work for example in the visual niche there's a graphic design web design and so many other niches that the services we offer are visual it is much more effective when you have a link to a portfolio that showcases hundreds of your designs as a graphic designer personally i have a portfolio with over 2000 designs of my own self from different submissions within the graphic design you know industry and it makes much more sense for me in fact i've had clients that will ask me for my portfolio i'll give them my link they'll get to the place and they will be flabbergasted in fact they will be so carried away that they will come back and tell me I've gone to your portfolio, it is so fantastic, you are the person I want to give my job to. So it helps to showcase your work and it makes it a lot more fantastic for you to be able to say, this is what I do, these are the things I've actually done in the past and this is what you can get me to do for you. So the reason number two is that it gives a great first impression for your clients. A lot of clients, just like I said before, will want to know if you are indeed a professional some apart from the fact that some want to know if you have the skill some other clients will also require you to have the right experience for you to be able to do the kind of job they want they don't just want to give the job to someone that can design but doesn't have experience in their niche someone that will just slap together a design that will not be converting that will not be convincing enough for them to make sales on their website so they want someone that has experience good experience they'll be able to impress them that show them that okay this person is someone that we can actually give this job to and can get it done so a portfolio helps you to create a great first impression for you know your clients helps you to create a fantastic first impression for your client it's also reason number three is that it also increases your online authority and recognition somebody comes to you and says are you sure you even know how to design and i'm like oh, oh, oh okay you want to know if i know how to design okay take this link go and check it or just google this you know this particular name or this link or this url or this you know keyword and when you get there go ask you know the web page if i actually know how to design so it helps you to be able to create authority as one of the best people that you know does this particular job you know as a person someone takes my link and goes to my 
you know, portfolio and sees thousands of designs. He, he scrolls through designs for like the next one hour, he's still scrolling through designs, assessing designs, seeing stuff. He will be able to understand that, wow, this person has been doing this for a very long time. So he's an authority on this thing. And this person is a right highly recognized person. And it's the person I want to give my job to. There is going to be a very big difference between myself and someone that's just starting up in the graphic design niche. The kind of authority I have will be different from what he has because there is no way he's going to sit down and start designing over 2,000 exclusively perfect designs just like I've done in the past because, because I've been able to design for years and I've been designing for customers and those customers have been asking for revisions and so it is only the best of the best of my designs that eventually find themselves in my portfolio. So it helps me create an authority, recognition and shows my clients that yes, I have been in the niche for a very long time and I am the kind of person they want to give their job to. So having a portfolio helps you as a freelancer to create authority and recognition. I've seen a lot of freelancers that have been doing this for a very long time, but they don't have a portfolio. They only have little, you know, stuff to this. In fact, it's like you having, you want to do video animation. Somebody now asks you, okay, do you have um, a portfolio? Or you ask your, the person that wants to do the video animation for you, does he have a portfolio? And he sends you a link to a, a YouTube account with over 500 videos, animation videos, different animated videos. What do you think is going to happen? You will definitely fall in love with that person and you give your job to the person because you can see that this person has been doing this for a very long time and this person can actually give you. In fact, you might even see the kind of video you want in one of his, you know, sample stuff and say, this is the kind of video I want. Can you do this for me? I would love it if you can do this for me. This is what I want. How much will it cost me? And then, you know, you just, you know, pay the person. And reason number four is that a portfolio is far better than the CV. Most of the time, when as freelancers, we are told to write a proposal. You know, we write our proposal and then we put a lot of information about ourselves in the proposal. We did this, we did that, we have experience with this. Everything you have said in your proposal can easily be coined up by someone else, can easily be copied and pasted by someone else. The only way for you to prove to your client that you actually have that kind of resume your curriculum vitae is for you to send the client a link of your portfolio that showcases samples of the past jobs you have done and when you do that your client will be like wow okay all this stuff you gave to in fact all the proposal you have written will not even have any effect on the client other than what he or she can see physically in your portfolio and can say wow this person has been doing this and this person is the kind of person I don't want to give my job to. And the last you know, reason is versatility and on-time improvement. Now, this is a very good idea. Let me just quickly share this good idea with you. When I was building myself as a freelancer, I never knew about portfolio creation until it got to a stage where I started realizing that a lot of clients ask me can I see samples of your job and I have to start looking for, you know, samples of my job all over my system to send to them, for them to see. I went there and started thinking there should be some way for me to be able to, you know, um, showcase my job. I went online, I searched and I got a lot of information about portfolio creation. Wow, this is fantastic. So what I did was I continued doing research until I got some of the best advices when it comes to portfolio creation, how to create my portfolio, how to arrange my portfolio, how to separate each sub niche from one another so that I won't mix everything up. And I actually came to understand and came to decide on how to do this thing properly so that when a client comes to me, the client can actually just go to my you know portfolio, go to my portfolio albums and choose which particular album he wants to go through, you know, and be able to check what kind of jobs he or she wants to do. So it, it becomes a lot, you know, it makes a lot of sense for me to realize that I can actually use my portfolio not only to showcase, not only to prove my authority, but also it will help me to be able to increase 
you know my pricing with my clients now because i have a portfolio where i can show my clients that i have experience in this thing um you know versatile in this thing it makes it easier for me to be able to charge my clients more money than an average you know graphic designer web designer you know stuff like that can actually you know charge a client so it makes a lot of sense for me and it really helped me to improve my business the another thing is that once you have your portfolio you know everything intact it makes it easier for you to be able to get you know ahead of your game you know like i said in um, um, version one of our freelancers guide i explained that you need to be able to master your clients for you to be able to master your clients one of the ways for you to master your client is for you to have a portfolio link where you send to the client and make the client understand that you are a professional in this thing and then you can actually make it easy to actually make it easier for you to be able to convince your clients and make your clients fall in love with you and follow exactly what you say so it is easier for you to negotiate when you have a portfolio that shows your client that you know what you are doing you have been in this game for a very long time and you know how to actually you know do things and make them right so another thing about portfolio creation is that it makes it easier for you to have on-time improvement what do i mean by on-time improvement on-time improvement is when you as you are as you are as you are developing yourself as a professional as you are learning more as you are you know improving in your skills and all that it's easier for you to just you know go to your portfolio delete some of some of the stuff you already have that are not as good as you when you when you have improved yourself you see that some of your designs or some of your jobs are not that fantastic like you actually think they should be and so you are now you can now do something better so you just create better stuff put them you know on your portfolio and then remove the old ones that are not as good as they are so it makes it much more easier for you to be able to do you know consistent on-time improvement with your portfolio it makes it much more easier and so most of the time i even advise my students that what they should do is is if they are just starting off and they are just learning what they should do is once they start getting better with what they are doing with what they are learning they should start designing and creating as many designs as possible so that they will be able to create your, their portfolio put their designs there and be able to prove to their clients that they have been doing this for a very long time so it doesn't really matter if you are just starting off or if you have been in the game for a very long time what really matters is for you to create a portfolio that has a tangible amount of designs or a tangible amount of you know um references or videos of of whatever you are doing that will help you to be able to do what to be able to prove to your clients that you are a professional you know what you are doing and you can actually give them what they actually want so conclusively i've actually created um a portfolio you know video some time ago it was actually a video i did when some of my students were actually asking me to teach them how to create a portfolio i decided to create that video and that video has been a lifesaver in fact it has really helped some of my students to make quite a lot of money while they are working you know online as freelancers most of my students work on fiverr anyway but i see how some students that work on upwork and their portfolio has really helped them to prove to their clients that they are professionals and help them make more money than they usually would have made if they do not have a portfolio so right now what i'm doing is i'm going to be giving you this video because i actually sell that video to my own students for just i think around two thousand naira. but i'm giving you the link to that video you know using this um particular business link bit.ly slash portfolio tooth that tutorial for just a thousand naira. so you are getting this video for just one thousand naira. you can only get this video i was in this this link from this video and not anywhere else so it is only those that actually watch this video and then um, they finish watching the video that can actually get this link to download or to quickly get access to the portfolio video so that is all i have for you for today and then um, next i'm going to be creating version 3 for the freelancers guide series i don't even know what i'm going to be discussing in that particular you know video but it's going to be something very useful for you as a freelancer and something that you really find very very 
um, I don't call it useful, valuable. Thank you as always. I want I want you and I love you guys. Stay blessed. You know, be the best that you can be. And um, bye bye. Peace out. Love you guys.